In this lesson, we're going to talk about the concept of data binding. Data binding means relating, connecting data from the view to the data of the model that's behind this view. So, for example, we have a value here that says 10, and that's stored in a certain variable. If that variable changes, the magic in Angular is that the value that's shown on the screen is also going to change. So that's absolutely revolutionary when it comes to front-end development because with other libraries you would normally have to, um, upon a change of the var variable, you would have to find the DOM element, select it, and then modify its value in a manual manner. In here, that's, hand that's uh, handled for you by the framework. Let's look at this controller. I'm defining an object called expense, which have two, has two properties. Description, a string that says food, and amount. 10. We're also creating another property here called phrase, which says the sky is blue. Let's take a look at our HTML. We have title 1, phrase, and then we're showing the description and the amount of the expense. Um, take notice how we are just accessing the object directly as we created it in our scope. So what I want to add now is a button that will allow me to change the amount. So I'll show you how by changing the amount in the model, the view will automatically um, change as well. So let's say, this is going to say increase amount. Let's close that up. And this will uh, display a button that doesn't do anything, of course. We need to use the directive ng-click to run a certain method when that button is clicked. This method is going to be called increase amount. We haven't created this method yet. Let's do that now. We will pass this method into our scope as well so that it's available to use as an expression in a directive. This is going to be a function and all that function is going to do is uh, modify the value of amount by one. Let's um, reload the page and test this. So see how I'm increasing the value of, of a variable that's passed to our scope, and we're showing that with an expression. Nowhere in the code I'm telling the framework, hey, go grab that particular node of text, change its value to this new value. I'm not, I'm not doing that anywhere. It's all done automatically for me as we are as variables here are binded, there's a binding between the amount in this expression with the um, the value of expense dot expression in our controller. That's one of the magic things about Angular. It's one of the reasons why so many people love and use this framework. 